everyone. I'm Stephanie, the owner of Travel Lessons, and today I have Gianna with me, and we're going to share some tips with you about how to travel during COVID-19. So one of the things that I found that would have been helpful when we traveled a couple of weeks ago was if we had had a bag, because I had little things here and there, but it was all kind of like in my carry-on. I couldn't remember where I put everything at. So a bag for all of your essentials. What about something else that would have been helpful, Gianna? Just some wipes, um, just to wipe down the seats and the tray tables and the, the armrests. And I personally like to use my doTERRA on guard spraying mist, regular hand sanitizer too. So either one, whatever you can get your hands on, I've just been ordering these every month because I have a subscription, so. And then definitely you need your mask and I, mean, I also use this one. This one is pretty good. Um, it's a little bit big for me, but it kept falling off at some times. But other than that, it was pretty good and didn't hurt my ears, so. Right, so one of the things that we found is that because you have to wear the mask for such a long time during your flight, it's helpful if you have different masks so you can kind of switch them out um, just because it just gives your ears some relief and they all fit differently. So if you have different ones, definitely bring them for backup. The next thing I would say is a bigger size of hand sanitizer. TSA is allowing you to bring bigger sizes of hand sanitizer. It's usually this little, um, like a three ounce size, but due to COVID, they are allowing you to bring, I think it's up to 12 ounces. And this, this is a nine ounce bottle of hand sanitizer that we got from Target. So um, definitely, you definitely want to just bring some backup extra just in case. What, what else? And like just for longer flights, something to touch the TV with. Just the pins with like the little thing on it. I like to bring Ziploc bags when I travel anyway. And the reason is, is because um, in this case, you can put anything that might spill out into your Ziploc bag. Now I like to put this spray on my mask because I just feel like it keeps me from getting any germs. Another thing that I would suggest using a Ziploc bag for is your snacks because whenever you check into security, like whenever you go through security and you have to put your, your snacks, you have to take them out and put them on the belt, you may not want your snacks to touch the belt and all that stuff. So you put them in here, you don't have to worry about them touching anything like that have a trash bag you can you can just ball this up and put it in this bag but as soon as you get on the plane you can take this out because as you're wiping stuff down or throwing stuff away you want to have something to, to put your trash in so you don't have to like touch the pockets in front of you and store stuff in there until the flight attendants come by so you can throw your trash away you can already have it in trash and at the end of your flight, you can just throw away your bag. Um, I heard something last night on a podcast that said, when you wash your hands, wash your hands like you have hot peppers, like you've been dealing with hot peppers and you know you don't want to touch your eyes after. So you wash your hands for a long time to make sure you get everything off. That's how you want to wash your hands now. So stay safe, keep your mask on, Keep your hands out of your face and out of your mouth. Well, that ends this video, and we will see you next time. If you would like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, please do. And if this has been helpful for you, please give us a thumbs up.